What once was home to thousands of refugees and migrants now resembles a junkyard. Old shoes and garbage litter the grounds of Idomini, where a makeshift camp finally has been dispersed. Those who live here are now on buses, bound for state-run migration centers farther south. It's a process that Doctors Without Borders is watching closely, says spokesperson Vicky Markalefa. Uh, still, there is quite of a lot of insecurity and anxiety amongst the refugees uh, because they don't know where they're going. Uh, they were hoping for a more sustainable solution than just another camp. And as MSF, we share this concern. The migrants and refugees got stuck here in February when Balkan countries shut their borders. As many as 12,000 were living in difficult, overcrowded conditions with poor sanitation. They also block the only railway tracks linking Greece and Macedonia, says Anastasios Sakpalidis of Northern Greece's Transporters Association. It is a big loss. We lost clients, we lost money, time, and our credibility. With the border under close watch, it's unknown whether the migrants will return here to try and cross the border once again.